guys and welcome to today's video. Now today's video is just going to be a little bit of a catch up and just let you know how I'm doing since my setback and to tell you a little bit of achievement I did over this past week. Now since my relapse in self-harm I haven't done it again. I've been using the tips and tricks like the famous elastic band, ice cubes, distraction method. I've been using them and they've worked so far. Not to say that I haven't been tempted. I have been very, very tempted and it's literally been me sat on my hands and trying my hardest not to reach for something. But I haven't gone back to that method yet. So I'm proud of myself in that because I think the first step after you have relapsed is to admit that you've relapsed which sounds ridiculous but it's true because you can sort of be in denial and think that one little silly mistake doesn't mean you've relapsed but it does it means you know you've turned back to that and you have to learn how to not go to that option anymore so I'm using all the different tricks and trying my hardest to stay away from something sharp to use to cut myself with and so far it has worked which has been great that's not saying that it will continue to work which i'm hoping it will but you never really know with your mental health and your addiction some days you have good days some days you have really bad days so it's sort of just fighting the battle and hoping that you can survive it basically i had to go to your for an appointment this past week and my mum went with me and we went on the train now a lot of you know I struggle really badly with anxiety and I don't do well in crowds um, around strangers, new places I don't really do well at all <laughs> around other people it frightens me, I get panic attacks I just, I can't handle it very well so that's why my mum has to come with me because otherwise I wouldn't even make it out of the house um, but I did it. I managed to get on the train. I managed to get round York. I managed to go to the appointment, get back on the train, get back into the train station. And let me tell you, travelling, we had to be at the train station really early. So we got there before seven o'clock, which is where all the work people are you getting the train to go to work, which means it was packed. So my anxiety that day was pushed to the limit and I was struggling, but I kept myself calm. I only had brief little mini freaks I didn't have any full-blown panic attacks and I was really really proud of myself because I know it sounds stupid to a lot of people that don't suffer from anxiety that you just you know you got on a train woo big deal but for someone who literally is scared of everything and is scared of people crowds new places has panic attacks just the idea of going somewhere new it's a big huge deal so I was very very proud of myself that day that I came home and I sort of just sat in my room and I just took it in and I for once wasn't hard on myself I didn't criticize myself I didn't say I could have done it better I could have done something differently I didn't be negative I focused on what I did well that day how I survived it how I got through it and there the, was no full-blown panic attacks. Yes, I had little moments of doubt and like, oh, I can't do this, but I did not have full-blown panic attacks and I survived it. Even though it was a miserable day, it was torrential rain, I'm glad that I did it because it proved that when push comes to the shove, I am strong enough to do things and I am capable of living a bit of a life when I need to. So I was very, very proud of myself and it put me in a good mood for these past few days which has helped because ever since my relapse I've been a bit of wallowing in self-pity and a bit blur whereas now that I've done gone to York and done that and shown that I can do things still it's put me back in a good mood so that has been great so that's really all that's major happened with me I have not gone back down the self-harm route I haven't self-harmed yet I'm using all those tricks that seem to be working and I had a great adventure with barely any panic and I was able to control my anxiety. So I had a positive-ish week, I'd say. It wasn't great. There was moments, you know, where I was really itching to reach for something, but I didn't. And it's out of the past 
few weeks I've had this has got to be one of the good ones the best ones I've had so I'm happy so thank you all for watching and I'll see you next week bye guys